and keep an eye out, Chuck? Mom! I can do it by myself, and I'm not Chuck right now. I'm Zoom Zoomerton, Special Agent of the Rocket Fast Spy Agency. Oh, sorry, honey. I mean, Zoom. No bad guys here. Thanks, Mom. Uh, I mean, helpful citizen. Careful citizen. Zoom Zoomerton goes. Action follows. We're evil bad guys, and we know you're here. Did you find him, Agent Rowdy? No, Agent Boomer. But look at this great banana peel. <laughs> Ew. That's a closer look than I wanted, Agent Rowdy. You guys are a lot better at finding junk than finding Zoom Zoomerton. Let's get him! <laughs> Whee! Zoom Zoomerton loves the feeling of wind in his grip. Oh. You'll never get away, Zoom! <laughs> I shouldn't have loaded up that banana peel. Porter, I'm sure getting thirsty on the road. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of other trucks to see to. Sure, sure. Ah. Sorry, mister. That's okay, little guy. A mini wheeler like you can't hurt a big old guy like me. Well, I've hauled some of the biggest loads you ever saw. Up snowy mountains, down rainy valleys, across the dusty plains. Whoa. I even... Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Great day for a drive, huh? Wow, I can't wait to haul a load like that. There's nothing getting in my way. <laughs> it's gonna be a long time. Before you're ready for that kind of work, little guy. Excuse me, son. I've got to get out to the parts yard to grab some steel beams. Semi Steve needs to be loaded up for a run. Oh, sure is busy around here today. I'll do it, Dad. I'll go get those beams and bring them back here to the diner. Uh, I don't know, Chuck. Rowdy and I saw those beams out in the parts yard. They look really heavy. And you know Semi-Steve, Chuck. He's very serious about his schedule. I can do it. I promise. Like my older brother, Rally. The, the world-famous world monster racing, racing truck. truck. Yeah, like he always says. Over, around, and through. Trucks go and see and do. Can we help carry the load, Chuck? No, I'm going to do this by myself. Chuck, this is very important. Are you sure you can have those beams back here on time? I can do it. I'll be right back with a heavy load. Gee, Chuck, are you sure you can do this alone? Of course I am. Just let me do some warm-up exercises. One, two, one, two, one, two. Chuck, it's too heavy. You better stop. No. I can do it! Thanks, Boomer. Hmm... I guess I'm gonna have... 
have to think of a different way to do this. You better do it fast, Chuck. That semi is waiting for you. I know you're in a hurry, Semi Steve. I'm sure Chuck will be back any minute. Hmm. Are you still thinking, Chuck? Want me to go get you some garbage? What? Always makes me feel better. Thanks for wanting to help, Rowdy, but... I have an idea. Even if you guys just load the beams onto me, I'd still be the one doing the hauling. Like I said I would. Sounds like a plan. I think I just heard Chuck's horn. Almost there, Dad. Yep, that's him. Just give him another minute. <laughs> Thanks for helping out, Boomer. Now I'm getting somewhere. Ugh. You mean, now you can start getting somewhere. That's right. And I'm gonna get these beams to the diner in time, all by myself. Just like I promised. Um, Chuck, you're not getting any closer to the diner. Uh, okay, okay. Watch this. Made it. Now watch how fast I'm gonna go, guys. Last one to the diner is a lemon. I'm no lemon. Me neither. Chuck? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do anything. Power and pickups! I've got it! I know what's been stopping me from getting this job done. The do-it-myself part. And I know just what we need to do. Minutes, am I, Steve? Here's the beams for you. Rowdy and I will load you up, Mr. Steve. Mr. Semi. Um, Mr. Steve I. Thanks, Boomer. Thanks, Rowdy. Couldn't have done it without you. Bumpers up. Friends from the long haul. Dad, I'm sorry it took me so long. That's okay, Chuck. You made it in time and kept your promise. I'm proud of you. Thanks, but I almost didn't make it. And I didn't really do it all by myself, like I said I would. That's nothing to be ashamed of, Chuck. Everyone needs help once in a while. Sharing the load makes the work go faster, and it's more fun, too. 
Knowing you, I bet it was your idea to make that platform. All done! Bye, Bye Semi-Steve! Semi Steve. Bye, Semi-Steve! I saw you bring in that load, little guy. I didn't think you had it in you. Thanks! Once you grow into those wheels of yours, I bet you're gonna be bigger, stronger, and smarter than any dump truck out there. scratches or dings or... Elmer? Hi there, Porter. You don't look so good. Yeah, I know. Porter, have you seen the... Oh, oh I'm terribly... Uh, Holly, you remember Elmer? Sure. It's just I don't remember you being so... so... Weak and rusty? <laughs> yeah, I know. You'll never catch me, police car! That's what you think, getaway car. Uh, Elmer, this is our son Chuck and his friends Soku, Handy, and Digger. Porter, I didn't know you and Holly had another boy in the family. Well, it's been a while since you've been here. Chuck, Elmer was our truck stop's very first customer. Whoa! What was it like in the old days, Mr. Elmer? See, did they have, like, wheels back then? <laughs> sure they did, Tinker. My great-great-great-grandfather invented the wheel. Before that, everyone used clumps of dirt. How did anyone get anywhere? Very slowly. So, Mr. Elmer, the old days? The old days go back before your parents ever opened this truck stop, Chuck. Ah, those were good times. Yes, those were good times. I just wish that when I wasn't working, I hadn't just been lazy and sat around. That's how I wound up so rusty and slow, with pipes so clogged I can barely move. And a truck's no good if he can't even move. That's why I came to see you, Holly. Sure, Elmer. Come with me to the repair bay and we'll see what we can do. If you don't want to end up like me, take care of yourselves now, boys. I sure wish I had, but I was your age. Poor Elmer. Chuck, let's get back to our game, amigo. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, Chuck. This is the part of the game where we police cars ask the getaway car questions about where you hid the loot. Guys, I don't want to play games. What? What? I think we should exercise. But Chuck, if you think about it, with all the running and jumping we do, our games are... We don't want to get slow and weak and rusty with clogged pipes when we get older. We should spend all our time getting in the best shape we can. That sounds bueno. Let's do it. Does this mean getting dirty? It means we need to think of some exercises. We have to get stronger. And there's how we're going to start. This might be worse than getting dirty. Super strong now. One, one, stop sign. I'm sweating wiper fluid. I smell like old carburetors, and I'm not having fun. I'm done with this exercise. Uh, yeah, maybe we should do something else for a while, Chuck. Good idea. Let's find a different exercise. That's not my idea of finding something different to do. I'll just watch. Well, we'll keep going. We feel better already. Right, guys? Yeah! Yeah! That's the spirit. 
Now I've got the perfect idea for our next exercise. I'm glad I decided not to do any more of Chuck's exercises. Gotta get to the top! Vamanos diggers! Gotta keep up with Chuck! No hands allowed, huh? Next exercise? Maybe there's something flatter we could do? Hmm. I've got a perfect idea for how we can get some more exercise. Now this is more like it. I feel faster than ever. Yeah, exercise is amazing. When we get to be Mr. Elmer's age, we're going to be in great shape. Hey, Chuck, don't you want to take a break and go back to our game for a while? No way! I'm in a groove now. I'm going to keep moving, moving, moving. Staying in shape is what I'm looking to do. I want to feel great. Racing with them, so cool. I wish we were playing police cars and getaway cars again. Come on, Digger. We've got a bunch of laps to go. <laughs> Can't run anymore right now. <laughs> well, I'm feeling better every second. I'm never gonna stop. Like my big brother Ralph, the world famous racing truck always said. Over, around, and through. So to go and see and do. And I'm gonna go, go, go! Yippee! Are we done exercising, Chuck? Can we do something else now? Sure, but only for a little bit. You guys really should exercise more. I feel fantastic. Well, getaway car, you won't feel so fantastic once we police cars catch you. And the way I'm revving right now, you'll never catch me. Caught you. That was easy. What's the matter, Chuck? Nothing. Just let me try again. I don't know what it is. Suddenly, I'm really tired. Maybe you exercise too much, Chuck. Maybe. I'm sorry, guys. I can't play anymore today. I never thought that would happen. Ooh, I think I better just turn around and go home. <sighs> Could uh, one of you guys maybe help turn me around? Well, Elmer, now that we got rid of all that gunk that built up while you've been sitting around and replaced your rusty parts, you should feel a little better. Thanks, Holly, I do. And I'm gonna stay feeling better by fueling up smarter and getting more exercise, like we talked about. Maybe you shouldn't get too much, Mr. Elmer. You could wind up like Chuck. Uh-huh. Chuck, what happened, son? I was out exercising. I just didn't want to end up... <laughs> like me? Chuck, you and I both learned something important today. 
too much of anything isn't good for you, whether it's sitting around <sighs> or exercising. Your body needs both rest and exercise, honey, but it needs a balance between them. And you get plenty of exercise running around with your pals playing your games. You're right, Mom. And it's more fun than the exercises I was doing. From now on, I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, where's Chuck? I'm ready to play. Hi, guys. I'm really sore today. Must have been all that exercise yesterday. Then it's gonna be easy for us to catch you today, Mr. Getaway Car. Yeah, unless you're too tired to play. I'm never gonna be too tired to play ever again. Red Hot Turbo Chargers, I feel great. Let's burn rubber. by the forward flip spin out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess. Well, I finally rustled up a way to do that varmint. Check me out. <laughs> Woohoo! What do you think, partners? Those pretty great bigs. Yeah, nice job. <laughs> Thanks. So what do we do now, Chuck? Well, I was thinking we could all do my trick. I could teach you in. Yeah, you know what would make that even better? We could try on each other's tires and race and do stunts like Biggs. Trading tires? Oh, yeah. On a scale of one to ten of awesome, that's a 38. Muy bueno. I've always wondered what it would feel like to be like Handy. But, yeah, Digger, I've always wondered the same thing about all of you. Now I can roll over anything, just like Biggs. I can build dirt mounds, just like the ones Digger makes. I can fix it up, just like Handy would. And I can give myself some music to play by, Soku style. Oh, yeah! It's time for some tire changing! Yeah! Yeah! Everyone always listens to Chuck's ideas. He says he wonders what it'd be like to be one of us. I wonder what it'd be like to be him. And who says I can't find out? Wahoo! Wait up, partners! I want to try Digger's tires. They'll make me so tall and tough and cool looking. Totally bueno. <laughs> You're already starting to sound like me, amigo. Uh, I'd also kind of like to try Digger's tires. I got some pretty popular wheels. I want to give Chuck's treads a spin. All yours. That way I get to pop on Soku's tires. Because power and pickup, they sure do look cool. And I want to pop on Soku's tires because, um, um, powering pickups, they sure do look cool. Um, okay. Since a couple of us want to try the same tires, we need a fair way to decide who goes first. I know, we'll play Simon Says. Yeah, we'll play Simon Says. Okay, guys, you know the rules. If the truck giving out the orders, the truck playing Simon, says, Simon Says, drive in a circle. What do you do? I drive in a circle. That was right, Boomer. But if Simon just says, drive in a circle, what do you do? Nothing. You've got it. If you do it and Simon didn't say Simon Says before telling you to do it, you're out. Whoever stays in till the end wins and gets first pick of whose tires to wear. 
Now let's see who gets to be Simon. This is me. Okay, Simon says back up. Okay, now Simon says flash your headlights. Come on, Digger. Make it harder. This is for the big tire switcheroo. Total. This is for the big tire switcheroo. Uh, okay, cool. Well, then, Simon says drive around the pile of tires three times and skid into the cave of parts. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, this is turning out to be a pretty sweet day. Okay, back to the game. Jump up and down. <laughs> Simon didn't say. <laughs> you got us, Digger. We're out. Okay, Handy. Okay, Biggs. It's down to us to see who gets first choice in the big tire switch. Yup, it's down to us to see who gets first choice. Keep going, Digger. Okay. Do an extreme wheelie and scale over the wall of car parts with your eyes shut. Uh -huh. Simon didn't say. Guess we're out. Yep, guess we're out. Handy's the winner. Choose your tires, Handy. You're first. Hmm. I'm going to have to take some time to think about this and figure out which tires would look best on me. You know. While we're waiting, we should get some ramps set up for... We should get some ramps set up for stunts when we switch tires. Way cool idea, Biggs. You know, Biggs, it's funny, but I was about to suggest the exact same thing. That is funny. It's weird. I feel like we've kind of been doing the same stuff all day. Oh, golly, partner. I reckon that is weird. I'm gonna go help the other fellas with the ramp. After all, it was my idea. Handy. Do you think Biggs is acting strange? How do you mean? I mean, he's doing everything I do and saying everything I say. He's probably just playing some kind of game of his own. I guess he is doing a pretty good job of copying me. There's no reason we can't both have fun with this, right? We couldn't find any good ramps. Huh, maybe we should just do some laps on we the- We could do some laps on the proving track with our new wheels. <laughs> good one, Biggs. You got me again. Okay, guys, let's go. Okay, Biggs, you've done a pretty good job copying me so far. Before we change tires, let's see how well you can keep up. Hey, hurry up, you guys. We have tires to switch. Okay, Biggs, that was really funny. But let's get back to normal now, okay? I am being normal. You're copying me. I'm not copying you. I just happen to be doing the same stuff you're doing and saying the same stuff you're saying when you do. Biggs, what's going on? I should have done this a long time ago. Being Chuck is great. This is gonna be awesome. Okay. I've decided I'm gonna swap tires with... Here's what we're gonna do. Once we swap tires with another truck, we should all do stuff the other truck does. Okay? Why does Big sound like you? For instance, say I borrow Chuck's tires. I'm gonna race around really fast and duck and dodge all kinds of stuff. Like this. Is Big okay? He's acting really weird. Did he bump his cab or something? I don't think so, but he's about to. <gasps> Big, look out! Biggs, are you okay? Yeah, not that you care. What do you mean? Of course we care. You're our friend. And how come no one ever pays any attention to me? I worked really, really hard on that trick I did this morning. And you fellas barely noticed. But when Chuck had the idea to switch tires, 
Everyone got all excited. And it's not the first time that's happened. We're sorry, Biggs. We didn't know how hard you've been working on that stunt. It really was cool. Chuck's idea just sounded so fun. I guess we got carried away, away from doing your stunt. Is this why you've been acting like me, Biggs? Because you thought that's how you'd get noticed more? Yeah, but I took it too far. I know that now. I'm sorry, partner. And I'm sorry too, Biggs, for not letting you know we like you just the way you are. Yeah, if you weren't who you were, you'd be somebody completely different. That made sense, right? Of us there's different stuff, and that's what makes us all such great friends. Sometimes I forget that. If I promise to remember, will you promise to just stay our good pal Biggs? It's a deal. It's a lot easier being me than trying to be you, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've got that worked out, I've decided I want to borrow Biggs' tires first. Then I'll be tall like him. No, I want to borrow Biggs' tires first so I can be tough. But I want to borrow Biggs' tires so I can say all the things Biggs says. Scoop my scoop and call me Scoopy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tonka Chuck, Tonka Chuck, yeah. Tonka Chuck, yeah. Dad, but why do I have to drive so slowly with them? They're the supplies for Doc Bolt's new hospital, Chuck. They're very fragile. Oh. What makes a hospital different from your office, Doc? Well, Chuck, a hospital is a bigger place where lots of trucks can get more care than I could give them at my office. A hospital can handle small problems as well as big, serious jobs like transmission transplants or engine replacements. It sounds like an amazing place. It's a good thing you came to my hospital. Now that we fixed your radiator, all you need is a tune-up and you'll be ready to rev. A little air ought to get you going again. Doc Chuck, you're needed in the emergency garage. I'm right on it. Doc Chuck? Uh, I just can't stand to see a sick truck. Okay, Doc. I'll call you next week when the rest of the belts and jacks come in. Thanks a bunch, fellas. I'm going to grow up to be like Doc Bolt. You want to help other trucks? That's very kind, Chuck. I'm going to travel all over, wherever there are sick and broken trucks. And I bet my friends would want to help, too. <laughs> No, Gunter, you don't need a doctor. You can replace your windshield wipers yourself. You'll see, it's gonna be great. We'll make a trailer and load it with supplies for sick trucks. Then when we see them, boom, we can help. Keeping trucks healthy? Count me in. Soku at your service. Where does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it! First, we'll need supplies like Doc Bolt has. Tires, belts, hoses, jacks. That's a lot of stuff. We better start looking. And we'll need something to put all our supplies, uh, uh, uh. Awful? Uh, some? Uh, chew? Uh, uh, chew! I win! Bless you. Thanks, but I was going to say we need something to put our supplies on. What are we waiting for? As un doctor, I can carry sick trucks to our trailer in my scoop. <laughs> Put me down, or I'll really get sick and you won't like it. I've got something else for you to carry, Digger. These will be perfect for our trailer. Catch! Hey, handy. Toss me some, too. Here you go, Chuck. <laughs> hey, careful! Are you okay, amigo? You don't 
sound like you feel good. Yeah, first you sneezed and now you're coughing. I'm fine. And now you're sniffling. That wasn't a sniffle. That was, that was me smelling something. Something we could put all our supplies on. Look. Sweet, that'll be perfect. You know, Chuck, if you're not feeling well, you should probably go home and rest. Who said I wasn't feeling well? <coughs> uh, uh, I was just guessing? Well, you guessed wrong. I feel terrific, and I don't want to miss a minute of getting our trailer together. Okay, we've got everything. Now what? Now that we've got it all organized, it's time to load up the flatbed. Let's start by... Uh, uh, ah I think our doctor's trailer could use a doctor. Chuck, I think you're getting sick. I am not. I feel totally fine. Nothing's wrong. Huh? I said I feel totally fine. Nothing's wrong. I think Chuck's lost his voice. Chuck! Have you lost your voice? <coughs> I'm fine. Now let's... I don't think you're going to be doing anything but going home to rest, Mr. Machine. Between your stuffy hose and your clogged pipes, I'd say you're definitely sick. What makes you say that, Mom? Honey, we heard you sneezing, coughing, and sniffling all the way down at the diner. You scared poor Gunter out of his shock absorbers. Sorry, Gunter. Of course you were just surprised, not scared. Mom, I'm not... <coughs> I'm not sick. There's just a lot of dust around, and there is st something stuck in my... <coughs> I know, honey. You don't want to miss out on any of the fun. But it's more important for you to get well. Besides, you don't want to get your friends sick, do you? Don't get me sick. It makes my headlights red and my radiator all trippy. It's almost time for us to go home anyway. We'll finish putting the trailer together tomorrow while you're getting better. If you're still sick when we get done, maybe we can come and take care of you. <laughs> you can be our first patient. But I don't want to be the first patient. I promise you, I'm not. Achoo! We'll see you whenever you feel better, Chuck. Don't hurry. Now you just try to rest, Chuck. You'll feel better before you know it. But I want to feel... <coughs> I want to feel better now, so I can... Uh, 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 do. Very good, honey. You remember to turn away from people when you sneeze. <sighs> Getting sick is one of those things that happens to everybody, Chuck. It's part of life. Doesn't make sense that the fastest way to get better is to slow down and do nothing. Well, that's how it works, Mr. Machine. Just relax, and I'll check on you in a bit. <sighs> oh, man. It's not fair. My friends are going to finish the trailer, and I won't have done anything to help. And I don't feel that bad. But there's no way Mom will let me out tomorrow. So I'll just have to go out and do my part to help tonight. Okay, the first thing I need to do is <coughs> get these supplies together. Don't understand why I'm not sleepy, but <coughs> I'm so tired. Phew. I thought this was gonna be fun, but I'm not having fun at all. Oh no! Oh no! Huh? What? Huh? Oh, Chuck, what are you doing out here? 
I'm sorry. I just didn't want... <coughs> didn't want... I don't feel so good. <coughs> Honey, when you're sick and you keep trying to do things like you're well, you can actually make yourself even sicker for longer. I think bed might be a good idea, don't you? Yeah, I'm really... true. <coughs> sorry. It's okay, Gunther. We've got everything under control. You can go back to bed. We've really missed you these last few days, Chuck. I've gotten three new sound systems I can't wait to show you. I've missed you too, but Mom says I should be able to go back out and play tomorrow. Muy bueno! I'm just sorry I missed out on the fun of putting our trailer together, and that I made it harder for you to do it after I tried doing it myself. Don't worry, Chuck. Now that it's finished, we'll all have plenty of fun together helping sick trucks. And you did help. You had the idea in the first place. I guess I did. Boy, I'm really looking forward to getting back out there and playing with you guys. Hmm. I'm not sure you're ready. What do you think, doctors? See, si, I think we better be sure he's healthy, Dr. Handy. We don't want him getting sicker, Dr. Digger. I agree completely, Dr. Soku. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Does it hurt here? <laughs> How hey, here? Cut it out! <laughs> 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 Chuck, what are you up to? Oh, my parents thought since I have so much energy, maybe I should race around outside a little before I go to bed. <laughs> How about you? What are you doing? I'm just looking at the stars. Something I've liked to do since I was your age, Chuck. Um, what are we looking for? Constellations. Consta what? Groups of stars that form patterns. See those three stars in a row up there? Yeah. They're part of a constellation called Orion. There's a whole bunch of different constellations, Chuck. A long time ago, trucks used to find their way by looking up at the stars and seeing where their constellations were. Whoa. We're on turbochargers! kid like you, my friends and I would go every week to the observatory. What's that? It's a big building especially built for looking at stars through a telescope. I know what that is. My dad has one. It makes things that are far away look closer. Exactly. My friends and I even called ourselves an astronomy club. Astronomy is the science of... Looking at stars? Yep. And planets and everything else in outer space, too. Our rule was, you had to go to the observatory with the club every week, or else you might miss something the rest of the group wanted to talk about. That seems fair. We even voted on the rule. An astronomy club. Thanks, Mixer Mike. Good night. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I can't wait for it to be nighttime. I want to hurry up and start looking at stars. Maybe we can discover some brand new stars. Ooh, and then we can make our own constellations. So you guys are cool with making our own astronomy club? You betcha! Claro! Yeah! Well, we're going to need some rules, because all good clubs have rules. Mixer Mike told me that, too. Bring them on! Okay. Sure. First, if we're serious about building this observatory, we're all going to have to be here to work at the same time every day, early. No problema! Yeah, being here on time won't be a problem, 
But I have another idea for a rule. We all have to work on the observatory together. No sneaking off when we've all gone home to keep working. <laughs> okay, okay, I won't. Good rule, Boomer. Oh, how about this one? No taking breaks. The sooner we get done, the sooner we can start looking at stars. Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh, hey, I've got a rule, too. Um... Oh, I know. No saying the word carburetor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I couldn't think of a real rule. I just wanted to make one up like you guys. At least it'll be an easy rule to follow. Hey, what happens when somebody breaks a rule? Well, I guess if you break a rule, you should be out of the club. And you can't work on the observatory. That's fair. Yeah, it's not like any of us are going to break the rules anyway. Then we're a club. Bumpers up. Friends for the long haul! Just not from the telescope in our observatory. But we're gonna do that. Soon. Good night, guys. Good night. See ya. Hasta la vista. It's gonna be so much fun to build this observatory. I can't wait. I'll just do a little bit. What's going on? I heard an engine revving. Dig, have you seen any engine revving varmints around here? No, guys. It was me. I was just too excited, I guess. Uh, I don't blame you, Digger. Yeah, I'm excited to get to work, too. But I did break one of the rules we made. So I guess that means I can't stay in the club and help build the observatory. I guess. Yeah. That's right. Can I at least watch you guys build it? <laughs> of course you can, Digger. It won't be the same without you, though, partner. It'll still be fun, just not quite as much fun. Good night, guys. Good night. So long. Buenas noches! Okay, I'm ready to watch. And we're ready to build. But where's Boomer? Yeah, we all said we'd be here at the same time. That's a rule. His ladder is going to be really important in building the observatory. It'd be great if we had Digger's loader and backhoe too, but... It's okay. We'll figure something out. But I'm really sorry. It took me longer to clean my room than I thought. That's okay, Boomer. We're just glad you're here. Let's get started. That's the thing, Chuck. I can't get started. I was late. I broke a rule. Now I'm out of the club. You weren't all that late, old buddy. Doesn't matter. If you're okay with breaking a rule, then you might as well not have a rule, right? And if you don't have rules, then you don't have much of a club. Well, I guess you're right, Boomer. Biggs? It looks like it's up to you and me. <sighs> Let's get started. <sighs> Oil my transmission and call me greasy. You said it, Biggs. If only we had Digger's scoop or Boomer's ladder. Woohoo! I've got it, Chuck. I'll go looking for something we can put in your bed that'll help us lift stuff into place. Power and pickups. That's a great idea, Biggs. I'll keep working while you look. Ah! <laughs> uh, where's Biggs? 
Biggs! Let's go find him! I can name one constellation. Wahoo! And another one. Yeah! Biggs! Sorry, partners. I guess I was. Oh no, I I guess I was taking a break. I broke a rule like Boomer and Digger. I'm sorry, Chuck, old buddy. I was sure looking forward to helping build that observatory. We all were. Chuck, what are you gonna do now that you're the only one left in the astronomy club? It'll take me forever to build the observatory all by myself. And it was mostly gonna be fun because we were doing it together. Well, that was when we were all in the club. You didn't mean to break the rules. We all knew what would happen if we did, though. I wish we'd never made rules for our club. Oh, why did we even need a club anyway? It's true. I wish the club would go away so we could all work together again. Red Hot Turbochargers! Carburetor, carburetor, carburetor! Oh, you just broke the rule Biggs made. No saying the word carburetor. I was playing when I made that rule. It doesn't matter. A rule is a rule, and I broke it. Do you know what that means? It means the Astronomy Club has... no members? Yup, and I don't know what you call a club with no members, but it isn't a club. Now there's just the four of us guys who want to build an observatory. Yeah! Yeah! There it is! That's the constellation! Yeah! I'm glad we built our observatory, even if we didn't do it as a club. Rules can be important for stuff like clubs. But when too many rules get in the way of having fun, then it's time to rethink the rules. Hey, partners, are there any rules about coming up with names for constellations? I don't think so. Whatever you can imagine. Oh uh, yeah, then I'm definitely gonna call that one Wahoo! Okay, so this time I'll tag Boomer. Ooh. Oh, let's see. Who hasn't been it? Hmm. <gasps> Chuck! I was hoping no one had noticed. Chuck, I didn't mean to hit you. It's okay. Ow. It was an accident. I shouldn't have teased you. And hey, look on the bright side. At least I won't have to clean my room today. Ow. I tagged you too hard. Don't worry about it, amigo. Hard playing trucks get hurt sometimes. Nobody blames you. Come on, let's get Chuck to the repair center. His mom will know what to do. This is uh, kind of cool. I feel like I'm in a parade. The Grand Marshal of this year's truck parade, the one, the only, Chuck the Dump Truck! Mom! You 
ready to clean your room, Chuck? Oh. Uh-oh. Looks like you got a little banged up. Does it hurt? Just a little, Mom. I got bumped playing tag. It's my fault. I ran into him. I was going way too fast. I'm sure it was an accident. This is just a little dent. I'll patch Chuck up and he'll be better in no time. No time? <laughs> well, not exactly no time. He'll need a day or so to rest up. Check in tomorrow. Thanks for bringing Chuck in. Now you go out and have fun while he rests. Yes, ma'am. Gracias. Feel better. Come on, Boomer. OK. See you, Chuck. I wish there was something I could do for Chuck. <gasps> I've got it. I'll catch up with you guys later. I've got it, Chuck. Hey, Boomer. You've got what? I can make you feel better. My mom said that time would make me feel better. Sure. A little time and a lot of help from your buddy. I'm going to be right there for you until you're healed. I'll do your chores, fetch your toys, and deliver messages. In fact, I'm going to start right now. Are you too warm? I'll fan you. For the offer, Boomer, but I don't think I need the help. Look, I'm fine. Ow! You don't look fine. I guess you're right. Maybe I could use some help, but only for a little while. Hey, okay, this will be fun. Now, just move that pile by the gas tanks to under the counter. That pile? You've got it. I help my dad with deliveries every week. Uh, I thought that was your job. It is. But until I get better, Boomer said he'd help me out. You look a lot better since yesterday. It still hurts? Ow! Yeah, it sure does. It's good of Boomer to help. I'm gonna help, too. Hey, Boomer, save some for me. No, thanks. For as long as Chuck's hurt, this is my job. Ugh. Okay, but call if you need help. Hmm. Digger, do you think you could help me with something? Digger at your service. You just need to get a scoop of dirt to fill in the hole, and then we'll patch it up with cement. Nice job. Now for the... Oh, no, we're all out of cement. Chuck, can you get two bags of cement from your mom? Sure, Dad. Did you get that, Boomer? Got it. Relaxing day, huh, guys? Maybe for you, but the rest of us are busy helping your dad. Not to mention that Boomer is working twice as hard as any of us just to take care of you. Are you feeling better yet? Your dent is almost healed. I know it hurt when it happened, but now... Now don't you think you can start taking care of yourself? I don't know. Boomer said I need to be 100% better, and I'm not. If Boomer wants to keep helping, I think I should let him. Ow! I'd better go rest. I think I'm gonna have a talk with Boomer. Hey, let me help. <sighs> Thank you. That was heavy. You know, Chuck's much better. You probably don't need to help him so much. You look cansado. Tired. I am tired, but I hit Chuck really hard. If he needs extra help, I'm gonna give it to him. In fact, I'd better go see how he is. Can you bring that cement to Chuck's dad? Sure, amigo, but take it easy. He doesn't believe Chuck is better, so we have to prove it. All dry, boys. Does anyone want to help me paint new lines? See. Si. OK. Sure. How about it, Chuck? Well... You don't need to keep up with us. Just do a little. No, Chuck's still hurt. 
You are, Chuck? I thought for sure you'd be back at full speed by now. Almost, Dad. Won't be too much longer. It's okay. I'll paint Chuck's part for him. Good job, boys. Thanks for helping. De nada. I better get back to the diner. See you, boys. And I'd better go check on Chuck. I know Bang Ups and I know Chuck. He should be A-OK -okay by now. He's usually so tough. We need to get the old Chuck back pronto. Hey, nothing gets Chuck moving like a race on a track. Hey, Boomer! Chuck, come on! I would, but Chuck still needs me. I'll probably be okay until you get back. Go ahead. Okay. You too, Chuck. If I can race, then I have to clean my room. I think I better just watch. Boomer, watch the track, buddy. What? Thanks, Chuck. So, uh, I guess you're feeling okay? Uh, actually, I've been feeling better for a while. But as long as I was hurt, I didn't have to clean my room. Plus, you took such good care of me. I'm really sorry. Is there any way I can make it up to you? Well, I am really tired. And that skid was kind of scary. And I... I know! For the rest of the day, I'll take care of you. But I'll have to start after I clean my room. Will you be okay until then? I think I'll be all right. Okay, stay there. Guys, don't let him move. I'll be right back. Watch where you're going, Chuck. We don't want to go through this all over again. <laughs> <laughs>